Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back from yesterday's video in the same sweater to do a finds and fails for you today. And it's all Dollar Tree, of course, $1.25. We actually have a local store now, guys, that has switched to the Plus store. We didn't even know it. We had no idea that they had changed. Little tiny store. You know, I have bigger stores near me and I thought one of those would have been first to go to a plus. It's like they picked the tiniest store to change into a plus. There were no plus freezer foods. It was all, they changed one whole aisle into all the plus section. But I really didn't see anything in there that I was interested in. They had a lot of craft stuff, like um, the big canvases, which we have used. Um, a lot of laundry type products, like big jugs of laundry detergent, more name brand things like that. A few things for like outside summer type stuff. They had insulated coolers, but nothing I was really interested in. They had some t-shirts, which honestly, all the t-shirts they had, I had seen last year when we had gone down to North Carolina and I had been in some of the plus stores down there. It was like the same t-shirts. But yeah, there was nothing that I was really interested in. They had some big stuffies, but yeah, I, I passed right through it and didn't even pick up one thing. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to get these fell out of the basket. So I'm just going to tell you about them. These were the good scents made in the USA. Instead of seven bags, you got nine. And these were the large black bags. They're okay. You know, they're okay. You definitely don't want to shove your bags with any of the garbage bags from anybody, but I don't know. I will pick them up again, but I, what I use them for actually is for clothes. I went through my closet and started taking things out. Guys, I have clothes seriously that are probably 30 years old. I'm very basic as you guys, if you followed me for a long time, you know, I buy very simple, usually not print just solids, basic, things that'll last a lifetime, never go out of style. And I have had clothes in my closet that I still wear, but they're getting really shabby. Some of them are at least 30 years old and shoes the same way. So I went through finally, and I'm slowly gonna just start picking through it. And I got a um, probably half of a black garbage bag full of clothes out of my closet already and shoes. <clears throat> so I'm gonna keep working on that. My dresser drawers are next. Finished a thing of my napkins. I love them. Get 150 in there. What is this before it falls out? Oh, these were the, um, the little Dutch made the chocolate chip cookies. It's the first time we've ever tried these. It is a 12 ounce package. These are really good. They're in the cookie jar right now, but we've already had a few of them with a cup of coffee. We enjoyed these, the chocolate chip cookies a lot. Oatmeal is probably still our favorite, but the chocolate chip are good. Very good. Let's see. Oh, these were a bunch of the candies that I made up the um, Easter eggs, the plastic Easter eggs for the grandkids. And these are some of the things that I put in them. These are the high chews, one of my favorite, favorite candies for this time of the year. The, the grape flavor in here is amazing. I love it. I wish they would make bags of just the grape. The strawberry is delicious too. Love them. These were the Tootsie Roll fruit chews and they had the fruit in here, different flavors. And they also had some vanilla. Those went in. These Tootsie Roll eggs, guys, if you guys haven't tried these yet, try them. I got these last year and they weren't what I expected. I expected them to be a lot harder of a Tootsie Roll with like the harder shell candy coating on the outside. These are delicious. They're very soft, so good. The flavor is amazing. So I did get two bags this year to put into the plastic eggs. They're good. And then these little lollipops. These were the charm sprinkles in vanilla flavor. And they're, they were little lollipops that have sprinkle throughout. There was two left after I separated them between the grandkids and I already had one. One is sitting on the candy dish. These are good. They're very, very good. I like them a lot. So yeah, I would I would buy them again. And then the traditional six lits, everybody knows what they are. They're delicious. Palmer's peanut butter eggs or peanut butter cups. They're good. And then you guys are telling me about the Krabby Patties. I had never, I've never tried a Krabby Patty. 
So there was one left. I'm going to try a Krabby Patty. You guys are saying they're delicious. I've never tried one. Oh, they come in their own little plastic. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's a little plastic square to keep them nice and neat. That's interesting. It smells like fruit. It smells very fruity. Oh my gosh. I can't chew it, guys. That's good. Very interesting. It is now stuck in all my teeth. I apologize for that. It's good. Very good. It's very, um, I don't know how to describe it. Like spongy. It's like, like the two outer parts, which must be the buns, are kind of like a spongy gummy. And the, the pink one too. And then the green is almost like a, um, like a soft lifesaver gummy. Very interesting. Not bad. Very sticky. Sorry guys, but I had to try it. All right, you guys know what you're talking about. It was good. They had all the um, pure leaf teas back. And these were not in the refrigerator section. These were actually on the shelf where all the sodas and drinks and things are. They had the raspberry and they also had the lemon. I actually have a lemon in the fridge right now that I didn't open yet. And hubby loves raspberry tea, absolutely loves it. He is actually decaf now, but he did drink this. He loved it. He absolutely loves it. And $1.25 for a um, pure leaf tea. And this is my favorite, I think, out of all of the bottled teas, pure leaf is my favorite. And it is an 18.5 fluid ounce bottle, 180 calories, no artificial sweeteners. They're just, they're delicious. So we did pick up two of each. They're good. All right, we just tried this right before the video. I'm assuming it's called Ko, K-O-E. And it is the Kombucha, Kombucha, Kombucha. It's Kombucha Only Better. And this was in the watermelon flavor, 12 fluid ounce, packed with probiotics. This is interesting. And this is USDA Organic interesting don't like it. <laughs> it's not that it's bad it is definitely something that takes getting used to it is very fizzy very fermented I don't even know how to describe it it's like a zippy vinegar watermelon flavor I mean it it makes your eyes open very effervescent I guess is the word. Not bad, but it would definitely take some getting used to to drink this all the time. What are your thoughts on this, guys? And then I know we have another flavor as well, and I can't remember what it is. So I, I want to try that one too. Interesting. I don't think I would buy them again, but it's supposed to be so good for you. But I just, ugh, I, I think I would rather drink pure vinegar. Stovetop. Yeah, it's just stove top. It was delicious. This is the cornbread stuffing mix ready in five minutes. What I did with this actually is um, I made a whole turkey. I had a couple turkeys in the freezer that I want to use up here soon. And smaller turkeys, they were only like 11 pounds, but just one. And so I had um, bread cubes, regular bread cubes, but it wasn't enough, you know, for my recipe, my homemade stuffing recipe. So I actually mixed this in with it. And it was good. Would I do it again? No. I like my own homemade stuffing better. But it, it was still good. It's stovetop. Quick, easy, side dish, delicious. And they also had other flavors out there. I know one was sage, which I was glad it was gone because I wouldn't have picked it up anyway. I'm not a super big sage fan. And the other one was um, something else. I can't remember now what it was. It wasn't cornbread, though. But, yeah. We had these one night for supper, and these are delicious, and these I would buy again. This is the Betty Cro Crocker Ready in 20 Minutes Skillet Potatoes in Parmesan and Herb, and they also have a garlic Parmesan, maybe. Haven't tried that box yet. 
These are delicious. If I see them again, I will pick it up. It was just so quick and easy. The perfect fried potatoes. I was kind of worried because the spice packet that's included in this, it seemed like it was going to be a lot of spice to put in it. And it wasn't. Once the potatoes rehydrated and, you know, you start frying them and you sprinkle that on, it was the perfect amount of spices. Very, very good. Very flavorful. Even hubby really liked them a lot. So I would, I would pick these up again. And this is the Parmesan and herb. If you've tried them or the other flavor, let me know what your thoughts are on that. And then finished off a thing of the chicken broth when I made my turkey. I just used this to put it in with the turkey itself. I put some of this in the stuffing. I used it in the gravy. It's just delicious. And this is the Kendall Farm chicken broth, gluten-free, no added MSG, and it's a two pound or 32 ounce box. Love it. Oh, that was another one of the candies. This was the high chew. These were the um, reduced sugar, and it was the mango and the strawberry and strawberry flavors. These are okay. I'm not a big mango fan, so I don't think I would buy these again just because I would waste them. So they're good, but I just don't think I'd do it again. Finished the thing of the apple cranberry, old orchard, healthy balance. We love this stuff. You guys know that. I've been talking about these juices forever now. They're delicious. We finished a thing of the Tremino, the seven grams of protein orchard flavor. This was very good. Very, very good. Let me see. What does it say here? Don't just hydrate, rejuvenate with Tremino. And it gives you 100% of your recommended daily allowance of B3, B5, B6, B12. No artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners. Gluten-free. And yeah, it's 28 calories per bottle. This stuff was delicious, guys. We would buy this again in the um, the orchard flavor. And they also we had tried a while back now the strawberry lemonade. Hubby really enjoyed that. Me, not so much. It was very puckery lemonade. But he enjoyed it. But this, this was good. Very good. And I believe we have another flavor, too. Is it maybe, maybe berry? Can't quite remember. Finished the thing of the apple snacks, all natural, unsweetened applesauce. These are the little applesauce cups. You get four in here. Super good. Were these made in Canada? No added sugar. Yes, product of Canada. They're delicious. I finished a thing of this Crunch Mania bite-sized French toast by Kellogg's. This was in a four-pack. It was in a clear plastic bag, and you got four of these pouches in. These are nice size pouches. I think that the whole thing is one serving, but I think I got like three servings out of it. You know, so if you have little kids, grandkids, whatever coming around, you could separate one of these bags into more than one serving. It was like a heavy little pouch, even though it's only 1.76 ounce. There were quite a few in here and they were good, very good. Another thing of the Starburst I finished, not another thing of the Starburst, but another bag of candy that I've put in the Easter eggs. Very good. Oh, these were the yogurt covered raisins by Natural Cravings. 2.75 ounce bag. These are delicious. I had never tried the um, yogurt covered raisins. I love the yogurt covered blueberries, the strawberries, and I like them in the other brand. I believe it's Welch's. But I really wanted to try these, the natural cravings, the raisins. They're good. Very good. I'd get those again. I like raisins when they're not cooked. Once a raisin is cooked, I don't like it anymore. I made my pork chops one night for supper. And you guys will ask, I fry my pork chops, put a little bit of butter in the skillet, fry them each side, a little bit of salt and pepper, very little till they're nice and golden brown, dump in a jar of this and just let it simmer for simmer for about 20 minutes. Delicious. Have a side of rice, have a side of pasta, whatever it may be. So good. And this is the paste, the original picante sauce in mild, and it's an eight ounce jar. And I usually make four pork chops and this is the perfect amount for in my skillet. So good, plus it's great with tortilla chips too. All right, a lot of this stuff is I want to talk to you about. If you guys, if you guys watched my makeup Monday disaster, 
I'm this this makeup guys here this La Mercier and it is La Mercier guys this isn't the high end there's a high end makeup and it's it sounds very similar this isn't it this it's not this isn't high end this is La Mercier I didn't like this this was the weirdest stuff I've ever seen in my life for me you you might try and you may absolutely love it. For me, I tried the lighter shade first. You can go back and watch that Makeup Monday video. It was a nightmare. <laughs> but um, this, it didn't do anything. It's like I was putting it on and it was coming right back off. It would not stick to my face. It was the strangest thing. So then I tried the darker shade. I think this is number two. This is number three. Tried the darker shade and it was so just greasy and slidey and not a solid color it it was like it was separating very very strange so 250 dollar 50 each that's that's just going in the trash i just no nope. and then if you guys watched that video i tried this be pure this is concealer this was foundation. The, Mer the Mercier was foundation. This uh, Be Pure is a under eye concealer. This is not foundation. I mean, I'm sure you could probably use it as foundation, but I picked it up in fair and medium. Most of the things that I wear, guys, I have tried a thousand times. I typically do not have a problem with anything bothering my eyes, making my eyes water, unless I poke myself or something, which does happen. This made my eyes water. They made them itch, burn. I don't know what it is about this. I don't know if it's the hyaluronic acid. I just, I don't know what, what caused it, but it was this. It's good because as soon, later on, as soon as I made that video, I went back, I took off my eye makeup. Within a half an hour, my eyes stopped burning. They stopped watering. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to try this again, and I'm not passing it along to any of my kids because something really caused me trouble with this. So let me know your thoughts on that. And guys, these are all just my opinions. These are hubby's opinions, the kids, grandkids. Everybody is different. You may absolutely love it. And then a lot of you are asking me if I have tried these Amy products. I have been using them. These I will save because they're they're not empty. I've been I've been using them now. I keep some in the upstairs bathroom and some here in the downstairs bathroom. And oh, I forgot to grab one too. I have one upstairs that um I think it's more of a um what do they call it? Like a balm like to help take your makeup off, like a thicker, creamy to help with like eyeshadow removal, mascara removal. I love it too. I have it upstairs. I wanted to grab it and I forgot. And I believe it's in a blue packaging. But I've tried these now several, several times. And I like it. I like it a lot. And it's there, it's called Amy Naturally Kind. And everything it shows on the front, like this is 95% natural. This is 85% natural. These toners are 97 and 97. I like them all. This was the exfoliating face face wash clear and calm like it this was the soft and smooth exfoliating polish this toner is the what does it say hydro toner for oily and sensitive skin and this one is hydro toner for dull and sensitive skin and they each have different ingredients in and I'm not going to go through and tell you everything that's in them but these are nice. Here, right before hubby's surgery in February, my nerves were just getting to me. I was just a nervous wreck and my face paid the price. That, like the day that he went in for surgery, my face was so broke out. I was so happy that I had to wear a mask in the hospital because there was no covering it. I was a nightmare. And I still have marks from where especially right here, a couple on my cheeks from where I had this just massive breakout. And I never break out, not like that. I mean, I may get a little blemish every once in a while, but I mean, I'm talking about like 14 year old skin. It was, it was rough. 
And ever since then, my skin is still recuperating. And I like this. I was looking for products that are gentle. I Harsh things in me don't get along anymore. These are all very gentle, very nice. I like them. So if you see them, pick them up. And I'm also using the, um, the face wipes, which I'm getting away from using face wipes. I'm going to just slowly stop buying them, use up what I have on hand, and strictly stick with that pink makeup removing rag. I just, I like it better. I like what it does for my skin, but those wipes are very nice too. Very gentle, not overly wet, but not dried out either. They don't sting or burn. So I'm liking that a lot. So yeah, th these were definitely a nice find. And just look at the colors guys. And I think the one upstairs is a light blue. And I don't know, I've, I haven't seen like a blue toner, but yeah, i I'm really happy with those purchases. What a great Easter basket you could put together. All these just really pretty pastel colors. So anyway, guys, that is it for this finds and fails. I'm going to go ahead and get all this junk thrown away. And yes, I do have a garbage bag sitting here on the floor. Most of the stuff didn't make it in it, but get that cleaned up. And I'm going to go about my day. I hope you're all doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.